Hey, what is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back to another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where I unbox, give you my first reaction to all things pop culture. So if you like to see what I see, when I see it, you see it, hit that like, subscribe, get notified when we have new videos, all sorts of stuff. So like this video, maybe whatever you wanna do. Uh, and if you're already doing that, thank you so very much. So today we are gonna be going back to the McFarlane-verse, but to the Marvel Universe, and uh, look at one of the McFarlane statues with Wolverine, which is from one of my favorite covers. So I can't wait to open this up, take a look at it with y'all and tell you if it's worth the price of admission. So let's do it, bub. Okay, folks, here it is, the one six scale Wolverine statue from McFarlane Toys. And this one has its inspiration from the Incredible Hulk. I believe it's number 340. Uh, I owned this issue when I was a kid. I wish I still had it. Uh, but uh, it was a McFarlane cover. Really loved it. Loved it was a kind of like a rematch between Wolverine and the Hulk. As you all know, Wolverine's first appearance was in what the Incredible Hulk 180 181 you know so he had a, a panel in 180 and then uh and then most of it was in 181 there so but uh the, here he is in the classic brown and and kind of gold suit here and i was excited when this came out because i really wanted to get the facsim facsimile of this comic book again uh but also i really just thought this looked cool and right now in the package it looks cool i was able to pick this up at gamestop uh they gave me a 10% discount because the box is kind of beat up. Uh, you can kind of see right here. So just know that if you see at GameStop uh, the, a box that's beat up, and so that's how much it normally costs, uh, then you can get a 10% discount on top of if you're a rewards member getting your additional 5% off of collectibles. And so here is the front of the box, the side of the box, the back. Look at that cover, 340, 75 cents back in the day when comic books were pretty much affordable for me as a kid uh but uh, now golly four or five bucks three to five bucks for an issue it's kind of tough uh but love this cover by mcfarland and i love how they mimicked it on this statue and i can't wait to get it out to show you all some more about that here it is inside it does include a comic book uh so which is really really cool but let's get this out of the box and let's take a look a closer look at this statue and give you some of my thoughts on it Holy folks, getting this stuff out of the package. Uh, I need more than Wesley Snipes. I'm gonna have to get a pair of scissors too as well to kind of help out with it. But here it is, here is the statue. And you do get a few things with it. Uh, let me show you what you get. First of all, you do get a uh, facsimile card and comic book. So let me bring that in. Let's move Wolverine out of the way. Oh, Wolvie, move out of the way. So there is the facsimile uh, comic book and card that you get. So very, very cool. So really cool to get this. I, if I can't own the original, this will be, this will do. This will, this will definitely do. It's got already got some nick marks in it because the package uh, was damaged. So this has like just a bend right, th right there. And so that just kind of sucks. I wish they, they would include these in backing boards and stuff like that instead of just this flimsy plastic. You also get this nice little stand. Has some damage here just again due to the packaging. Uh, but you get this cool little stand that you can put the statue in to kind of really help sell the scene uh, if you want to. And then last but not least, you do get the statue itself. And so they call this, McFarlane calls it a non posable figure, but it's a statue, uh, so to speak. But um, just a few of the details on this guy. So first of all, from a height standpoint, it is a one in six scale. Uh, so from his uh, uh, handles, as you all remember from Deadpool, uh, you're looking at eight and a quarter inches there. And then the width of about 
about seven and a quarter inches uh, there. So, but uh, overall, just really, really cool details. I love how they, this almost looks like just a comic book cover just popped out uh, with you on that. And so let me pull it up a little bit closer so you can get some really kind of some really cool close up looks. And first of all, just the claw right here that mimics the comic book cover of seeing the Hulk's face in the reflection of the claws. That is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I that that's what drew me to the statue was just that there uh, looks really really good and then of course just the details I mean just the the feral look in Wolvie's eyes right there so that you can kind of see of course the paint job looks really good there's no overspray or anything like that looks like there's a bit of sloppiness with the glue right here uh, but um, but we get some nice details in the hairy arms uh, they look more like dirty arms so it looks like they just just used a little bit of a black wash just to make his arms look dirty. But I love the, the detail they did here to make this look like a comic book that's just popped out uh, in life. Uh, these, the, of course, his boots just look really cool. And of course, the stand he's on. Now, you can't take it off the stand. He is not posable in any way. He is just a, uh, just a statue, pretty much. But looks... I think it looks great, especially if you collect statues. If you're more of a statue collector and not a posable figure, uh, I think you, you can't go wrong with some of these McFarlane figure statues. And makes me want to, and I know you've heard me say this with my other reviews, makes me wonder what would happen if McFarlane ever got the Marvel license to do posable figures. I know Hasbro has been in a little bit of financial difficulty, so what would happen if Disney decided to go over to McFarlane and say, hey, start making those figures? First of all, probably make your six-inch legend scale people pretty pissed off uh, unless they decide to keep it within that scale uh, but second of all um, I think it would be great I mean when you think about the price of a uh, um, a McFarland versus a Hasbro uh, you got that so the other two statues that I already have out and I'll just show you this one this one's of course spider-man uh, next to Wolverine here uh, let me see if I can back this up just a hair so you can kind of see it get it if I can get it all in the frame uh, so that's what that looks like <laughs> all the comments of me having it uh, pretty much put together wrong. Finally, I did get it put together. So everything's on here. Everything's right. Everything's perfect. I do love that they have a black suit variant of this that's out right now. Now there's a platinum variant of this with him in his yellow and you know his yellow suit that and i'll put a picture of that and i'd love to find that and here's the one sixth captain america uh statue and i think i think from a scale standpoint i mean of course wolverine he is a short dude uh so uh don't let <laughs> don't let the movies fool you hugh jackman was a big guy and so uh therefore wolverine is a big guy in the cinematic universe but he is a short dude in the comic books so but uh just Again, I think they did really, really great work. And McFarlane did a lot of really great work when he drew these guys. He drew them in different poses, very dynamic, very, uh, very uh, just almost felt like they were alive. But there it is from the front, the side, the back the side and if i want to like i said i can take this kind of like a little background here i can kind of put this in the frame and i can have him kind of let's see if i can get that all in a frame like that so it looks like he is uh in this like just jungle kind of look here uh where he was gonna fight the hulk so uh that is what you can do if you want to i am choosing not to i'm leaving all the the uh backgrounds inside the boxes i'm keeping the boxes uh but um got to figure out where I want to display all these. These guys have just kind of been hanging out without a home. I've got to redo my hobby room down here. But let's get back with Jimmy in the chair. Just talk through my final thoughts on this uh, statue and tell you if it is worth it, if it is worth your money. So back for my final thoughts on this McFarlane Toys 1-6 scale Wolverine statue. So let's bring it back in. Here it is. Really, really, I really dig this statue. I think it looks great. My only cons about it is it does have some messiness with looks like some glue uh, on it. But uh, other than that, I mean, 
if you were expecting a posable figure, you're not going to get it. But uh, for a statue, uh, I think it looks great. Now, is it worth what I paid for it? Now, normal price $54.99. If you have a uh, GameStop Pro membership, I think it's like $52. But I was able to get 10% off due to a damaged box. I mean, you, you could... The, for a little $50 statue, uh, I think it looks great, if you're, especially if you're a Wolverine fan. Uh, now, there are probably some other ones that are out there, but I love the fact that this pays homage to that cover, that Hulk 340. And I love the fact you also get a comic book and a card with it, too, as well. So I think that is a really good value. Also, you get that stand. The stand, which I didn't show off too much, is really cool because it's made of, like, looks like it's out in the woods, has a little bit of tree bark there. But you can, you can get in there and mod that a little bit but just love this this was the wolverine that i kind of grew up with i didn't grow up with the uh, hulk 180 181 wolverine or the yellow suit wolverine i grew up with the brown suit wolverine uh the chris claremont wolverine so to speak uh so uh just gorgeous and i think it really takes the cover that todd mcfarland drew and pops it out and brings it to life so on a scale of good bad awesome i would give this a pretty uh, a pretty awesome good a very good to pretty awesome what it would make it better again if it was a posable figure that would be awesome but it's not you have to just take it for what it is so if i take it for a statue i think it's a pretty awesome statue for the for the price that you get on there and it's pretty durable too as well so uh that is great too and if you can find the platinum variant the platinum variant is the yellow suit but it doesn't have this right here that right there is what drew me is that reflect that that kind of that image that's almost a reflection of the Hulk uh, from that uh, comic book cover on there. I think that's what drew me in. So, but yeah, love it. Mwah. I think you're great. Uh, so tune in next time when we do talk about something else, good, bad, or awesome. And if you like this, maybe consider becoming a member or giving a super thanks or just give it a like and become a subscriber. Uh, so if you're already doing all that, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone uh, for continuing to watch these videos uh, as we continue to do more. But in the meantime, y'all remember to stay young, have fun and be awesome, bub. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.